Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Football Helmet's Medical Vlog. I am Dr. Football Helmet, and today we're got, we've got an exciting thing happening. Um, I actually got an email oh, from um, jim.thompson at gmail.com. Uh, his name apparently is Jim Thompson. So thank you out there, Jim, for sending me an email. Um, I've been waiting with bated breath for the first one to arrive, and now it's here. And um, Jim, uh, let me, I have a copy of it right here. I will read it for you, and then we will dive into some advice. So Jim, um, the, the email, the text of it said, Doc, Dear Dr. Helmet, thank you for addressing me very formally, Jim. I appreciate that, because I am a medical professional. Uh, I have been having trouble sleeping lately. Uh, do you have any advice to offer on the subject? Oh, ho, 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 Jim. Uh, Jim, 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 Jim. Yeah, your, your question shouldn't be, do you have any advice to offer on the subject, but what from your uh, massive amount of knowledge can you bestow upon me? Because I have so much to say on this subject. I just, I, as a, as a medical professional, I've done a lot of studies on sleep and um, have come to the conclusion that sleep, well, it's kind of important. So, you say you're having trouble sleeping, Jim. Uh, I, I can relate. I know there have been times in my life where I've stayed up and stared at the ceiling in my bed and just thought about oh, where will the next paycheck come from? Where will the money come from? I can't keep doing this. No one takes me seriously. I'm a quack. I, I'm so insecure about myself. I, I claim to be a medical professional, but no one takes me seriously. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, I'll edit that out. Um, anyway, so that, just ignore what just happened. I'll edit it out. Anyway, okay, hold on. One, two, three. Here we go. Back on. Back on topic. Uh, yes, sleep is important, Jim. Uh, and uh, the advice I would give you, and you're going to think this is a bit um, trite of me to say, or you know, I'm being flippant about your condition, but hear me out. My advice is simple. Wear a football helmet. And let me explain why I say that. When I was a boy, in my pre-football helmet years, I had many, many nights where I couldn't sleep because I worried that my head would fall off. Uh, it sounds like an odd worry I said, but I did. I worried that my head would fall off while I was asleep. It, it is a very childish fear, I will admit, but still, it was a real fear. And then, at the age of 10, as I've established, I decided, hey, I'm going to put a football helmet on to cure myself of all ills. I put it on, and I never had trouble sleeping again because, you know, science has proven that your head cannot fall off while you have a football helmet on your head. So that helped me a lot. And I know, uh, Jim, you, your, your worry may not be that... Your head will fall off while you're sleeping. May not be that. Maybe you don't have any worries. Maybe it's just you're physically incapable of uh, getting a good night's sleep. A football helmet will help in many ways. For one thing, a football helmet provides a sense of security that, you know, not a lot of other things will give you. Um, you know, you could put a baseball cap on your head and try to sleep, but it's a baseball hat. It, it, it you know, it does its cloth. This right here, this is hard plastic, and uh, hard plastic on your head, it will help, most definitely make you feel secure. It will also help you because mouth guard um, is a very good um, drool catcher, so if you're worried about drooling on your pillow, uh, mouth guard does a great job of... Uh, Slapping up some of that drool, especially if you have more bars. I don't have as many bars because I don't drool when I sleep. I don't, I don't. It's not a worry of mine. So, but if you, you know, there are a lot of face face masks out there, and um, 
Some are, you know, they have more bars on the front. That could help. Um, I think what other reasons might someone have for not being able to sleep? Maybe you snore. Maybe um, snoring it makes you feel you you feel self conscious uh, because you know maybe you have maybe you I don't know if you're married or not, Jim. But I know um, I'm not married. I've never been married a little bit about myself. Uh, but I know if I was married and I had a significant other that I that lay beside me every night, I, I would feel a little bit uh, bad about snoring so much. And maybe that would keep me up. Maybe that keeps. Maybe that is what it is. Jim, I wish you had given me more details in your email because, uh, frankly, that would help me, you know, be able to provide you with more information. Honestly, though, it doesn't matter. If you wear a football helmet, you'll be fine. It will keep you from snoring, getting back on that topic, because, well, in a football helmet, you, you, your body learns to stop you from snoring. It sounds weird, I know. But it echoes around in here, and uh, snoring will make the, the helmet vibrate, and it'll wake you up, and you'll be like, ugh. And then you'll try to sleep again, you'll snore, and the vi helmet will vibrate, and it'll wake you up, and you go, ugh. And then eventually, you will learn through psychological, you know, kind of like Pavlov's dog. I believe that was the, the thing. Um, where you'll learn that not to snore, because it'll wake you up. So, because it'll be annoying, make your head shake. Yes. So that's my advice, Jim. Wear a football helmet, because it'll help you sleep. Um... No, uh, I hope that's helped you, Jim, and also anyone out there who may be having trouble sleeping. Uh, tune in next week when we'll have another email, hopefully, or a Twitter um, message. So send them out to me, and I will respond to them in a timely manner. But until then, have a good week, and uh, keep wearing those football helmets. All right. <laughs>